Hey y'all, I just want to do another quick video. I have a haul from the Inky List, so let me just give you a little story about this. So I ordered it and I ordered it to the wrong zip code. Like everything else about my address was right, but the zip code. Cause it said like, oh, they're shipping it back. Like on Shopify, it said like, oh, your order's being shipped back. So like I told them that, yeah, like I just placed another order instead to get the stuff. Like, I, can you just refund that one? They're like, yeah, it gets back to our warehouse. My parents tell me, they're like, hey, there's a package for you today. So I go home, cause I don't get my package sent to this place. I get it sent to my parents' house. So I go home and I open it up and I'm like, well, I first look at the outside. I'm like, huh, they, they changed the address on it, like with a marker. So like someone at the place, the facility must have just done that. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if they use the same old shipping label for it. And I was like, no, why would they do that? And I was like horrified because I'm like, oh my God, if they didn't get this in the warehouse, then that means they're gonna charge me for it. So I opened up and yeah, it, it was the original one. So I just emailed them saying, cause I looked at my emails and my other orders still processing. So I'm trying to get that one refunded now. So I don't get too, of the same things. I mean, I got like a couple different products in the other one, but like three of them were the same. Like I'll show you the products I'm getting. I'll tell you which ones that would have been the same or not. I look a little washed out. Okay, that, I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. Just getting the frame more. So let me just go right into this haul. I got, this is the Inky List. We've heard of her. I didn't order it from Sephora because I don't like Sephora at all. I'm an Ulta girl. So I went through the Inculus website and they're really nice. Like their customer service, awesome. Even though I messed up, their customer service was awesome. So the first thing, I'm trying to think, what was the first thing I put in my cart? Probably this one. So I've heard about this from the Welsh twins, the one that does skincare. I don't know which one, sorry. Um, Dr. Trey and Cassandra Bankson. She didn't really want to focus, but you can see the PHA toner. I'm going to talk about the packaging. So just notice. Fully fills up the packaging. Great. Cool. So appropriate size package for it. You know, it is, I think it's 3.4 fluid ounces. So it's not that big. It's smaller than the glycolic acid toner that you would get from the ordinary, but it's still a really great product. So this will be my during the day exfoliant when I'm feeling like I need it. I'm not gonna incorporate this product because I'm still using the Cause RX like BHA toner. Love that so far. Love that. Get yourself one of those. But I'm also getting the Paula's Choice again. Like I ordered that. Also fuck up the address and they did the same thing, but they refunded it and sent me another one. So again, my fault because my freaking Apple Pay was messed up. I looked, I'm like, you guys were trying to set me up. That's not the right edge. That's not my home. What are y'all doing? Anyways, so. Uh, the next product I got is probably my favorite product I've ever had from the Ink List, and it's their retinol serum. So this is a retinol serum. This is the super sized one. You can see it's, uh, I think, yeah two fluid ounces instead of the one, so it's double, but it's, it was only 17 bucks instead of like 20 because the originals, you know, you know how it is. Um, and I don't, I'm planning on using this on my body and try, cause this worked good on my face. And now I use either a dapoline or tretinoin. My mom gave me her tretinoin cause I haven't been to the doctors until I'm going tomorrow to get my refill, but I had a refill for like a month. So I've been using a dapoline instead. And it's honestly been working pretty good, but I think it's mainly not because of the dapoline, but because of the Causarex things. So I'm just gonna continue that routine until I'm done with that. This, I think I'm gonna use it on my cellulite on, you know, my, rear end um because i have a lot of grow gross uh stretch marks <laughs> i was gonna say growth marks no stretch marks there so the and also my back has a lot of back acne scars we're gonna try this out and i'll let y'all know currently use the glycolic acid toner from good molecules that one's a really good one along with the inky list bye i don't think it fully gets rid of it by the time i'm done with the bottle so we'll see if i'm by the time I'm done with this bottle, they fully gets rid of it. The next one was, mm, I'll talk about that one next. 
after the one I'm going to talk about right now. So I've used this one before, and I for and I think if I remember correctly, it worked really well as a spot treatment, like really well. Not good as an all over face treatment, like the Paula's Choice or the Causerax one BHA toner. But this BHA serum, I remember being sorry, kitty. Well, kitty, say hi. Come here, Mr. Kitty. Say hi, Mr. Kitty. He doesn't want to say hi. He doesn't want to say hi, dude. Okay, cool. Good boy. Anyways, let's just first notice. So, great spot treatment. Let's look at the packaging. Do you notice that thing right there? This is how big it is and this is how the packaging is. Girl, you don't... Why even bother with the packaging? Just be like the ordinary and don't have packaging. Like some of the products just, actually no, they do have packaging. No, but the ordinaries doesn't have something like this. Theirs is like, oh, cause they're thinner and taller. Why are y'all doing this? To make it think like it's more, sorry, another cat hair. To make it think like it's bigger than it is like no this is the same that's in the ordinary it's just in a plastic container instead of glass so it's lighter and it's easier to ship but why are y'all doing that don't do that we don't need that we already know the size of the product we don't need to, no cut that out cut that out the, mm, the next product so this is something that i tried vitamin c once from the ordinary burnt my skin rosacea ass so i got this instead because that was years ago this is the 15 percent vitamin c and egf serum so you know egf is good for you but again miss mama i'll let you guys know how this works i've never really used the vitamin c this skin is produced by a dappling BHA, washing your face every day. Once a day though, I don't do twice. Oh yeah, I use niacinamide a lot. The niacinamide toner by Good Molecules, or the niacinamide plus zinc from The Ordinary. I'll see what this does instead of the... She's a little goopy. Okay, um, we'll see what this one does over the nice and my that I use. So, and the last product is this one. This is the Brighten Dash Eye Eye Creme. A creme. So basically this is just an eye cream with humectants, peptides, hyaluronic acid, sodium gluconate, but it also has mica, titanium dioxide, and silica. So it makes it like smooths your under eye and like literally brightens it with like a little bit of like a sheen, you know what I mean? This one's the worst offender, by the way. Are y'all ready for this, the packaging? So this is the packaging. And we all know it's 0.5 ounces, 0.5. So um, this, is, this, this is how she came. Miss Mama. Miss Mama. Miss Mama. She wasn't even in the right compartment. The person that put it in there put it in the space saver compartment instead of the actual, like, they put it in here instead of putting it in here. Or they put it. Rewind. They place it in here. You see, that's the compartment where they save space. The other side is where it was supposed to be. That's how small it was. The person that was placing in here or the robot, she messed up. But I've had this before. I think it's good. I know it smells bad, but I've been wanting a brightening eye cream for a little bit. So you used to have the um, Glam Glow brightening eye cream. Ugh. God. Oh my god. If you want a good eye cream, honey, the Glam Glow eye cream. It's the best one I've ever used, and it's better than just a moisturizer underneath your eyes. Trust me. It literally, like, 
Botox under your eyes. I promise you. And it's not that Peter Thomas Roth crap. No. Anyways, that, that's it. Alright, have a good one.